In this problem, we have a normally distributed variable, and what we want to do is label the x-axis underneath this normal curve. The standard approach is to put the mean in the center, and then label tick marks that go 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations to the left and right. You can just grab a calculator. If you take 12.9 plus 1.7, you can get that first box to the right. You want to put 12.9 in the middle. Um, or you can use Staplet. Staplet.com normal distribution will allow you to enter in a given mean and standard deviation. 12.9 and 1.7 for this distribution, and it will give you those answers. 14.6, 16.3, and 18 going to the right, 11.2, 9.5, and 7.8 to the left. For the second part of this problem, you're going to find a z-score and then you're going to use a z-score. If you want to find a z-score, this is a value of x. You could just plug it into Staplet as either a left or right side value. So this problem was 12.1. Calculating that area, it does spit out a z-score for me. The other way you'll want to do it is using Desmos. Z is going to be the distance from X to the mean divided by the standard deviation. So on this problem, the difference is, and I will want to use parentheses, 12.1, always X minus the mean, 12.9. That will give us a negative number since we're below average. Now divided by the standard deviation gives us negative 0.47. That means we're almost half almost half a standard deviation to the left. And we can see that here, here's the middle, we're almost half of a tick mark to the left. And that's why we standardize that using Z. To use a Z score, here I have a Z score of negative 0.6. There we'll wanna start with the mean. That mean is 12.9. And then we add Z times standard deviation. So in this case, Z is negative times standard deviation. So we're basically saying we're starting at the middle value of 12.9 and we're moving to the left a little more than half of a standard deviation. This distance here would be the distance we're moving to the left. That puts us at 11.88 for that one. 